Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to game three of this series between the number 23 team in the country, the Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles, and the Taylor College Blue Jays. Let's take a look at the batting order for the Eagles. Tommy Davis, then Drenis Ozuna, Jordan Smith, Nick Chavez, Adarius Council, Jesus Rojas, Josh Logan, Aaron Gertis, and Hector Manon and Michael Mendoza will be on the mound. First pitch from Drake Gerard is a strike. Take a look around the horn with the Blue Jays. More, the standard more at first, Montaloid at second, Boston at short, and Gutierrez will get the start at third as Gerard is on the mound, and a fielding error by Boston will get things started here in the top of the first on a routine ground ball. The batting order for the Blue, and the out, correction, the outfield for the Blue Jays is Dvorak, up, Whitchurch, and Cardozo. Ozuna. Cardozo getting the start in right field as High Jazz is the designated hitter. The batting order is Mata Lloyd, Dvorak, Whitchurch, Moore, Jimenez, High Jazz, Cardozo, Boston, and Gutierrez. Gerard will fire pitch in there for a ball, one and oh. Gerard's next pitch be driven out to center field. Whitchurch back at the fence. And that ball is gone as it almost hits a fan. So a two-run home run for Drenis Ozuna. 2-0 Oklahoma Wesleyan leads. Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith, the first baseman, steps into the box. He'll drive one to Mata Lloyd at second. Next up for the Eagles, the catcher, number five, Nick Chavez. We apologize, we had some technical difficulties with the KCAC broadcast. If you're trying to watch on the KCAC website to bring you up to speed, Tommy Davis reached on a fielding air by Trotter Boston and then Drenis Ozuna hit a two run home run to the deepest part of the ballpark. Two nothing, Oklahoma Wesleyan leads. Drake Gerard, the fifth year senior on the mound. He'll throw a curveball in there for strike one. Two and one the count. Give you a recap of the series. Oklahoma Wesleyan took game one on Friday, 20 to six. And then due to inclement weather, the games were postponed Saturday and Sunday. And today we are resuming on a beautiful spring day in Hillsboro, America. Tabor took game two today, 25-16 in a high scoring contest. Seemed like every other at bat, there was a home run. We're full count with Gerard and, and Chavez, the catcher. That'll be ball four. Now up for the Eagles. The third baseman, number one, Adarius Council. Adarius Council will step the in the box. Running, Derek Ray. Derek Ray will do the courtesy running for the catcher for the Eagles. Beautiful shot from our first base cam over there. Darius Council. 
will pop it up. Jimenez will flip the mask and he'll be out of play. Gerard ahead in the count, 0-2 on a Darius Council. Runner on first with one out, 2-0 Oklahoma Wesleyan leads. That'll get away from Jimenez. One and two, the count. Gerard will fire, and that'll be fouled off. Gerard will come home. That'll be swung on and missed for out number two. That'll bring up Jesus Rojas. Next up for the Eagles, the right fielder, Jesus Shout Rojas. Shout out to our stream team, Riley, Itor, and Ander, giving you all the great shots from all the cameras around the Blue Jay baseball field. I believe we have five or six cameras out here. Six. Center field behind home plate, first base. Scoreboard. And then the commentator one, which you will see after the conclusion of this game, I will be doing an interview with head coach Mark Standiford as this is the final regular season home game of the year for the Blue Jays. So tune in and stick around for an interview with Tabor College head coach Mark Staniford. Pitch has popped up and foul. George pitch will be lifted to right field. Cardozo drifts back to the warning track and he'll catch it for out number three. But Oklahoma Wesleyan strikes for two on a home run. We're going to the bottom of the first. Oklahoma Wesleyan two, Tabor College zero. At Bombgars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. 
Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. Welcome back to Blue Jay the Baseball Field. The the On the mound Tyler for the Otto Eagles. Boy. Michael Mendoza, 8-3 record on the year. Montaloy will get the first to see him. We are having an equipment malfunction. Strike one from Mendoza. Mendoza gets ahead early, 0-2. One and two. Mon Lloyd will foul one off to the right side and out of play. Foul ball, one and two still. <laughs> Mon Lloyd being a very tough out there. At home plate, fouls off another pitch. Model will drive one to the right side, and that'll be foul. take ball two, two and two the count. Ball three, three and two count. I'll be taken for strike three. So one out will bring up Micah Dvorak. For your Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 18, Micah Dvorak. Strike one to the Borak. The Borak will take a pitch in the dirt, one and one. Oh, 
Vorak fouls another one off. One and two to count. Pitch to Vorak. Hits a loop to the Oklahoma Wesleyan second baseman. Center fielder number two, Braden Witcher. That'll bring up Braden Whitchurch. Whitchurch will take ball one down and away. But Churchill foul a ball off on the inside part of the plate. Woodchurch will drive one to the left side. That'll be scooped up by the third baseman, and he'll be out for out number three. The Blue Jays score zero in the bottom of the first. We're going to the top of the second. Two nothing in Oakwood. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsborough and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. Drick Gerard still on the mound for the Blue Jays. To left fielder, Josh Logan. Josh Logan steps in the box for the Eagles. One and one the count. Ball be lifted to right field. Cardozo back. Settle under it for out number one. Next up for the Eagles, the center fielder, Aaron Verdes. Gerard stats on the year. No wins, no losses. Has an earned run average of 11 flat. Strike one to number two, Aaron Gertis. Well, we popped up and out of play to the right side.
One and two the count. A ball will be booted by Sergio Gutierrez over there at third. Next up for the Eagles, the shortstop, Hector Mannion. Hector Mannion will step into the box. the count. That ball will be popped up to the left side and out of play. Fire in the dirt, the runner will go. And Jimenez will gun him down by about three feet. The ball will be driven out to center field. Woodchurch will have it for out number three. So Oku scores zero in the top of the second. We're going to the bottom of the second. 2-0 Oklahoma Wesleyan leads. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a God-honoring estate plan. Many donors of Tabor College have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college, a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students. Learn more at mbfoundation.com slash Tabor and get started on your plan today. MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. Cody Moore. Welcome back to Blue Jay Baseball Field. Cody Moore will get things started for the Blue Jays in the bottom of the second against Michael Mendoza. Mendoza's first pitch is spiked in the dirt for ball one. Reno. That'll be ball four. 
They'll bring up Jackie Jimenez, the catcher. The catcher, number 28, Jackie Jimenez. Jimenez steps in the box. We're on first, no outs, strike one. Oh, two. I'll be called for strike three. Cole High Jazz will step in the box now for the Blue Jays. The designated hitter, number 12, Cole High Jazz. Jazz first two pitches he sees are balls two and zero oh, they count. Cody Moore on first base. Three and zero. Oh. Three and one as Mendoza really counting that zone against these Blue Jay hitters. Be taken for ball four. Now up here, Blue Jays, the right fielder, number nine, Brady Cardozo. Brady Cardozo will step into the box now. For the Blue Jays, already gone deep once today. Cardozo lifts one to right field, back at the track. That ball will be caught at the track. Moore will tag from second. That'll bring up the shortstop, Trotter now Boston. The shortstop, number one, Trotter Boston. Both hands, keeping Carter Boston drives one to right field, and that ball is gone. A no doubter, Trotter Boston puts the Blue Jays on top, three to two. Sergio Gutierrez. So Sergio Gutierrez now, who closed out the last game, now gets to start at third. He'll take ball one. Gutierrez will foul a pitch back, two and one the count. Good 
The ball we fouled out of play by Gutierrez. The Ayers will foul it off again to the left side and out of play. The Ayers will foul another one off to the left side. Gutierrez lifts one to right field. That will hang up there for out number three. But the Blue Jays strike for three runs on a trotter. Boston three run home run. We're going to the top of the third. Tabor College three, Oklahoma Wesleyan two. Think about how good it feels when people really get you. Like the friends who come over when a big game is on, the neighbors next door who always bring your favorite buffalo dip, your in-laws who know you need silence during the clutch plays, and everyone who knows about your special post-win fist bump. It's kind of like having a State Farm agent like Paul Brooks. Paul is here to get to know you and understand your life, so he can help make it easy for you to protect what's important. Get an agent that gets you and your fist bumps. Call State Farm agent Paul Brooks in Wichita at 316-721-8181. Leading off the inning for the Eagles, the designated hitter, Tommy Davis. Next up for the Eagles, the second baseman, Drenis Ozuna. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next up for the Eagles, the first baseman, Jordan Smith. Good, Jay. Next up for the Eagles, the catcher, Nick Chavez. At BombGars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have... What you Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. Model Loyal take a little bit of an excuse me swing and foul it off to the right side. Model foul another one off to the right side. One and two, the count. That's driven to left field. Mona Lloyd, have yourself a day. Three home run and hits for the cycle. Have yourself a day, Tyler Mona Lloyd.
the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 18, Michael. That'll bring up Michael Dvorak to follow the Model Lloyd home run. Ball one. They'll be driven to the right side and caught. Next up for your Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two, Braden Whitchurch. So with the Vorak being retired, Whitchurch will step into the box. Oh, and won the count. Whitchurch fouls it back. Strike two. Whitchurch will swing and miss for out number two. Next up here, Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 45, Cody Moore. That'll bring up Cody Moore for the Blue Jays. Moore will drive one to the shortstop, take a hop, and he'll throw across first for out number three. But Tyler Mata Lloyd, have yourself a day, hits, a, hits his third home run of the day. Blue Jays four, Oklahoma Wesleyan two. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family owned and operated full service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or body build, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. Welcome back to the Blue Jay Leading baseball field. Rains weather Eagles, report, 51 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 mile per hour winds out of the south. Nick Chavez steps in the box for the Eagles. And that will drill him in the Thigh to put a runner on and no outs. Next up for the Eagles, the third baseman, Adarius Council. Courtesy running number 12, Derek Ray. First pitch is a strike, going one the count. Gerard will check on the runner over there first, and he'll be back safely. That'll be driven through the left side of the infield for a single, so two on and no outs. That'll bring up Jesus Rojas. 
Next up for the Eagles, the right fielder, Jesus Rojas. The pitch, Rojas will pull one to the left side. Boston, Montaloy, Moore. The three amigos turn a double play. Boston to Montaloy to Moore. The left fielder, Josh Logan. Josh Logan now. That was a hard hit ball to Boston. Boston. Boston handled it beautifully in a great stretch over there by Moore. Josh Logan steps in the box. He'll pull it to Gutierrez over there third. He'll scoop it fire across the diamond for out number three. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. Tabor College four, Oklahoma Wesleyan two. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. Jay baseball Blue field, Jay. Jackie Jimenez will get things started Jackie in the bottom of the fourth Jimenez. for the Blue Jays on this beautiful, beautiful day in Hillsborough, Kansas. Strike one. Menez will swing at a pitch in the dirt. 0-2. Oh Menez will swing and miss for out number one. High Jazz will make his way to the plate. Next up for Blue Jays, the designated hitter, number 12, Cole Hijaz. Hijaz will take a pitch high and upstairs for ball one. One and oh, the count. Strike one to High Jazz. Cole will lift one up in the air. Oklahoma Wesleyan center fielder. We'll take it for out number two. Now batting for the Blue Jays. The right fielder, number nine, Brady Cardozo. And Cardozo will take strike one. Oh. 
Cardozo will look at a curve ball down in the dirt. Cardozo will hit one to the right side and it'll get through, take an aggressive turn, but stop it first. Now will bring up Trotter Boston. The shortstop, number one, Trotter Boston. We been burning bookies, keeping the lights on. You can see Cardozo does a great job of going with that ball and pushing it down the right field line. Here's the pitch. Strike one to Boston. One and one. for your Blue Jays. The third baseman, number 15, Sergio Gutierrez. Sergio Gutierrez steps to the box after Boston reaches base. Pitch from, pitch from Mendoza is strike one. Yeah, there's a lift one to the left side. They'll get out of play, foul ball. Bears will foul it off again. Bears will float one out to right field. That'll play to run. Gutierrez with the RBI single. That'll bring up top of the order and Tyler Mata Lloyd, who's already hit one home run in game two. Three home runs on the day. Tyler Mata Lloyd. Three home runs to Three of his four home runs on the season have come today in, two, in a two game span. Model Lloyd will take a pitch upstairs for ball one. Yeah. 
2-0 count will bring the uh, Oklahoma Wesleyan pitching coach up out of his dugout over there. So Michael Mendoza fires a strike in there. Two and one the count to Mata Lloyd. Mata Lloyd will drive it out to right field. That is off the wall. That'll play to run. That'll bring up Micah Dvorak, and I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just now tuning in, you have missed a heck of a day for Tyler Mata Lloyd. Game one, hits two home runs, hits for the cycle, started game two off with a, with a home run, and now just hits one off the fence, and you can just see his grin as he's walking towards the dugout. We'll have a pitching change now for Oklahoma Wesleyan. I believe that's number 35, Tyler Benefield. We'll be back after these commercial breaks. Now pitching for the Eagles. Think about how good it feels when people really get you. Like the friends who come over when a big game is on, the neighbors next door who always bring your favorite buffalo dip, your in-laws who know you need silence during the clutch plays, and everyone who knows about your special post-win fist bump. It's kind of like having a State Farm agent like Paul Brooks. Paul is here to get to know you and understand your life, so he can help make it easy for you to protect what's important. Get an agent that gets you and your fist bumps. Call State Farm agent Paul Brooks in Wichita at 316-721-8181. Tyler Benefield takes over the duties on the mound for the Eagles. So Michael Mendoza goes three and two thirds innings, giving up six runs, five hits. We're set to go with Micah Dvorak stepping into the box for the Blue Jays. First pitch is a ball, one and zero. Oh. Dvorak will lift one up to right field. And he'll be retired for out number three, but the Blue Jays strike for two. We're going to the top of the fifth. Oklahoma Wesleyan two, Tabor College six. 
At BombGars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. Many of you know that the Iton Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Iton Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at itonagency.com. Welcome back to Blue Jay Baseball Field. Drake Girard still on the mound for the Blue Jays. Strike one, the count, or strike one, 0 and 1, the count. It's number two, Aaron Gertis. One and one, the count. Two and one. Three and one now. That'll be ball four. Is a shortstop, Hector Manning. So it's a runner on first. Drug fires home. That ball is driven out to center field. Whitchurch back. He'll jump. It'll be off the fence. With a stand-up double. Will be number 11, Hector Mannion. Next up for the Eagles, the designated hitter, Tommy Davis. Tommy Davis will now step into the box for the Eagles. Gerard out of the windup now as runners on second and third. He'll fire pitch in there. That ball will be crushed out to left field to make it 6-5. Dennis Ozuna will step in the box now for Oakwoo. 
following a three-run home run. He'll take a big rip at a fastball and miss it for strike one. Oh, and to the count now. Gerard will fire. He'll be in the dirt for ball one. One, two to count. That ball will be pulled foul to the left side. Let's go, Dre. They'll say he went. Jimenez will fire down to first for out number one. Next up for the Eagles, the first baseman, Jordan Smith. First pitch from Gerard is strike one at the knees to Jordan Smith. Ball will be lifted up and out of play over the backstop. Ball is popped up to the right side. Cardozo says he has it. He'll settle under it for out number two. You're just now joining us. We're in the top of the fifth. Tabor six, Oklahoma Wesleyan five. Minder to stay tuned after the game as I'll be joined by head coach Mark Standiford talking about today's game. And as this is senior, some of these seniors' final home game, we'll talk about the seniors and what they mean to this program. So stay tuned for the, po for the post game interview with head coach Mark Standiford. Want to know the count from Gerard? Gerard will fire curveball in there, 2 0. Strike one. Two and one the count. Curveball on the outside corner for strike two. Two and two the count. Ball be outside. Three and two. Curveball be low and in the dirt for ball four. So with two outs, a runner on first. Next up for the Eagles, the third baseman, Adarius Council. Courtesy running number 12, Derek Ray. So Darius Council will step into the box for the Eagles. One and oh, the count. 
Ball be outside. Tuna. Ball be low. Three no. Will be upstairs and inside for ball four. So runners on first and second now and two out. Mark Standiford will now emerge from the nest of the Blue Jays. Stanford will leave Gerard out on the bump for the Blue Jays with two outs and two on. And Jesus Rojas stepping in the box. Gerardo fire strike in there. One and one the count. Ball be fouled off. One and two. One and two the count. Gerard giving the Blue Jays a very good start today. Jimenez behind the plate. That ball will be lifted up. Vorak will settle under it for out number three. So through four and a half innings, it's Oklahoma Wesleyan five, Caver College six. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at HillsboroFordKS.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. 
Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or body build, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. Welcome back to Blue Jay Baseball Field. Oklahoma Wesleyan strikes for three in the fifth inning to make it 6-5. Cable College leads. Get things started with Brayden Whitchurch, the center fielder. The center fielder, number two, Brayden Whitchurch. Whitchurch will step into the box. Here's the delivery. Whitchurch will take a high strike. One and one the count. Woodchurch, they'll say, went around, one and two to count. Church will drive one to the right side and that'll be fielded by the second baseman and thrown to first for out number one. Next up for your Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 45, Cody Moore. One and oh, the count to Cody Moore. Take a pitch low and out, outside on the edge for strike one. That'll be upstairs for ball two. Two and one, the count. Moore will drive one out to right field, back at the track. Cody Moore will be at second base with a double. Next up for your Blue Jays, the catcher, number 28, Jackie Jimenez. Jackie Jimenez will enter the box. For your Blue Jays, number 16, Jonathan Kimball. Jonathan Kimball will run for Cody Moore over there at first, or over there at second, correction. So Menez will step into the box. Yeah. 
Men will take a pitch upstairs for ball one. Strike one. Menez ahead in the count, three and one, and one out with a runner on second. Blue Jays looking to add a few runs here, strengthen this lead on the Oklahoma Wesleyan team. And that'll hit Jimenez in the back. Now up for your Blue Jays, the designated hitter, number 12, Paul. Hi, Justin Ricketts will take over the running duties for Jackie Jimenez. Cole Hijaz will step into the box. So it's one out and runners on first and second. First pitch to High Jazz is strike one. High Jazz will lift it up and out to center field. He'll be retired for out number two. That'll bring up Brady Cardozo. The right fielder, number nine, Brady Cardozo. Cardozo takes ball one. Two and oh. Cardozo will lift one out to right center. He'll be caught on the track for out number three. We're going to the top of the sixth. Tabor College six, Oakwoo five. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet.
Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. Welcome back to the campus of Tabor College. Tabor leading 6 5. Drake Gerard, five minutes strong, looking to make it six here. As number seven, Josh Logan, steps in the box. Gerard will fire, strike one. Gerard will fire, strike two. Gerard will fire a ball in the dirt. One and two. Gerard will strike out Josh Logan and he'll get Aaron Gerdes next. Next up for the Eagles, the center fielder Aaron Gerdes. Gerard will fire pitch outside, 1 0. One one. Pitch will be outside. Two and one the count. Three and one. <laughs> now we popped up and out of play. Full count. Gerard will fire, ball be grounded to Moore over there first. He'll take it himself for out number two. Next up for the Eagles shortstop, Hector Manning. Gerard fires a slider in there. Chopped to the backstop. One and one to count. <laughs> 
two to one. Ball is lifted up and out of play behind the backstop. Draw to fire a ball. My monitor looks like it might have been up and away. That ball will be lifted up. Whitchurch back at the wall and he'll get it for out number three. Oku scores zero. We're going to the bottom of the six. Six five, Tabor College. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of Tabor College and proud to treat our Tabor students and athletes. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic offers affordable chiropractic care for the entire family. We offer spinal adjustments and cold laser therapy, decompression and flexion distraction therapy, and are board certified in acupuncture as well as DOT certified. Come see us at 122 South Main Street in Hillsboro or call Panzer Chiropractic Clinic for an appointment today at 620-947-3157. At BombGars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. Welcome back to the Tabor College baseball field. Toronto Boston will get things started for the Blue Jays in the bottom of the sixth. Pinch hitting. Correction, it'll be Miguel Ramos. Blue Jays, number 37, Miguel Ramos. So Ramos will get things started for the Blue Jays. Ramos takes a pitch low and inside for ball one. Be called a strike up and on the inside part of the plate. Will be outside two and two. Ramos will foul one off to the right side and out of play. Ball be fired to the backstop, full count. He 
taken from ball four, so Ramos reaches on a walk. I'll bring up Sergio Gutierrez. And Boston will check back into the game at first base. For the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 15, Sergio Gutierrez, and re entering for the ball game for the Blue Jays, number one, Father Boston. Sergio will pop a bunt up. It will almost reach, but it'll do a job and get Boston over to second for Mata Lloyd. Now up for your Blue Jays. The second baseman, number six, Tyler Mata Lloyd. Mata Lloyd steps to the box with one out. They will almost hit Mata Lloyd. There's a pitch. Mata Lloyd will drive it out to center field. And Boston will score. So Mata Lloyd gets a little bit of insurance. Have a day, Mata Lloyd. Now up for your Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 18, Micah Dvorak. Mata Lloyd have himself a KCAC Player of the Week type of day. Lloyd goes and he'll be there safely. with Mata Lloyd on second. Dvorak has a 2-1 count. Dvorak will take a strike on the outside corner. 2-2. Two Rock will pull it to the right side. We we'll retired for out number two. We'll get Mata Lloyd over to third for Braden Whitchurch. Next up for your Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two, Braden Whitchurch. Whitchurch will take a pitch outside for ball one. One and one the count. Two to one the count. Wow. 
Mata Lloyd will score on a on a passed ball. Correction. Make it 8-5, Tabor College. We take it for ball four. That'll bring up Cody Moore. The Oklahoma Wesleyan manager will emerge from the dugout and make a pitching change. field it doesn't even need the airstream to get out of here and say hello to the tennis Cody Moore will get into the box for the Blue Jays. Two outs. Runners on, runner on first. Two another count. Two and one. Three and one the count now. Moore will pop it up to the right side. First baseman will go over and it'll be out of play. Woodchurch will go, that ball will be driven out to right field all the way to the fence. Woodchurch will be waved home. Moore will go for second and he'll be in there safely. Now up for your Blue Jays, the catcher, number 28, Jackie Cody Moore with RGI double to make it 9-5 and Jimenez will step into the box now.
Jimenez drives one to left field, and that'll be down for a double. Jimenez rounding second. That'll be safe there. Tabor College leads 10-5. For your Tabor College Blue Jays, the designated hitter, number 12, Cole Hijab. Hijab is done in the box now. Ricketts takes over the running duties for Jimenez. High Jazz will hit one out to left field. He'll be retired for out number three. But the Blue Jays strike for four to make it 10-5, Tabor College. We're going to the top of the seventh. Blue uh, Okwu up next. Many of you know that the Eitan Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitan Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitsonAgency.com. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Welcome back to the Blue Jay baseball field here in Hillsborough, America. Tabor College is looking to slam the door on the number 23 team in the country, the Oklahoma Wesleyan University Eagles. 10-5, Tabor College leads. Cutter Smith is in the game on the mound. Leading off the inning for the Eagles, the designated hitter, Tommy Davis. He'll get Davis, Ozuna, and Smith for the Eagles. Smith's first pitch is a ball outside. Strike one. Ball's fouled back for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball to Mata Lloyd over there at second. He'll fire to Moore for out number one. Next up for the Eagles, the second baseman, Drenis Ozuna. Oh. 
Smith's first offering is ball one. Curve ball for strike one. Smith curve ball will get away from him. Put a runner on Next with one out. For the Eagles, the first baseman, Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith will step in the box now. As you can see, Smith's stats, 7-2, and 5-9-1 ERA, 54 strikeouts. Strike one. Ball be fouled back and out of play. Taken upstairs for ball two. Two and two the count. Correction, one and two. Ball be lifted up. Cardoza will go back to the track. He'll take it for out number two. That'll bring up Nick. Chavez, the catcher. Next up for the Eagles, the catcher, Nick Chavez. <laughs> Smith will fire for strike one. Nice pitch from Smith is in the dirt. Ball be grounded to Mono Lloyd over at second. And that'll be the game. Tabor College welcomes the number 23 team in the country to Hillsboro and takes two of three. The final score, score Tabor College 10, Oklahoma Wesleyan five. Oklahoma Wesleyan Stick five. Stick around for a post game interview with head Blue coach Blue Mark Stanford. Hope you guys drive home safely.
Hello, Blue Jay baseball fans. I am joined by Tabor College head coach Mark Staniford. First off, coach, congratulations on the win. You welcome the number 23 team in the country into Hillsborough, and you take two of three. What are your What are your thoughts on the series as a whole, and then as today uh, wraps up? Well, first of all, I'm very proud of our team. You know, we, we came out, we battled. Uh, we got beat pretty good our first game, and it would have been really easy to lay down. Um, we bounced back really well, and that first game was a tough game. I mean, there was a lot of runs scored. We jump out to a big lead. All of a sudden, they come back and take the lead. So a lot of a lot of flows, positive and negative, in that first game. We were able to, again, to come out on top. And I thought the second game, you know, I can't say enough about Derek Gerard, came out and gave us six strong innings and exactly what we needed and kept us in the game. Got some key, key hits. Tyler Mata, how about that? How about the day he hit? Hits, hits for the cycle, <laughs> three home runs, six <laughs> RBIs. I mean, and, and you got to remember, he's only – I mean, he's, you look at a guy like Cody who hits home runs every day, and I mean, Cody's six foot three, and Mata's over there at five eight. Not the biggest dude in the world, but man, did he get a hold of some today? Well, he did. I tell you, he he was he was seeing the ball well, hitting the ball to, to all fields, and uh, like I said, he uh, had a heck of a day. And you know, anytime you can hit for the cycle, that doesn't happen very often. But uh, you know, there was a lot of guys that came up for some big hits. You know, you you can go down the line up there, and and everybody just about had one that came up big. Even in the last inning, Mickey gets a walk to start that inning off. And then we score some runs on top of that. Hadn't seen, hadn't been up to plate all day, and came up big for us right there. So, like I said, everybody contributed today. It was it was a great team team effort today, and, and two team wins, and against a very good team. I mean, I can't say enough good things about Oklahoma Wesleyan. Uh, their coach, uh, Kirk Kelly, is 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 top notch, and you know his his team is that way, and I enjoy playing them. Uh, they are very difficult. They're they are a tough team. But like I said, anytime you can walk out of here with two wins against a quality team like that, uh, it's something to be to be very proud of. Absolutely, Coach. I know it's it's been a long day. It's a late evening. I'm going to ask you one final question. Um, you know, these seniors. This is their last home game at home, yep. and um, you know some of these guys they're going to go on and go play independent ball. And some of these guys, when the season comes to a close, that's it. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you say to those guys? You know beyond baseball and and what advice do you give them beyond baseball is you know they're going to go on and and do great things in the world whether it's job wise raise a family get married what do you, what do you say to those guys you know all those things you just talked about uh, you learn things in the game of baseball uh, baseball is is built up of failure you gotta have to learn to adapt you have to learn to bounce back just like our team did this week um there's a lot of things in life are that way too you're, you're not everything's not gonna be perfect and you've got to find a way sometime to dig down and just get things done and, and you know, baseball does that for them but we got some quality guys. They're all going to be great leaders once they leave here. Um, they've, they've been here, and they've, they've helped us this team get to where it is today. Um, also, they go back to some other teams we've had in the past. These guys, Drake's been here for five years, so he's been a part of a lot of teams. But I can't say enough good things about the seniors. I, I always say our team is only going to be as good as our seniors are. And it doesn't necessarily have to be what they do on the field, but what they do off the field, too. Are they leaders off the field? Do they hold each other accountable? Are they good teammates? Um, because we've had seniors, too, that don't contribute, get a chance to play a lot on the field. But there's a lot of things that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see that help make our team better. And this, this senior class has done that. And I, like I said, very proud of them. Uh, it's, it's an honor to be able to coach them. You know, I tell them that all the time. I said, thank you for letting me allow to be your coach. It means a lot. Because, again, it's something that they picked to come to Tabor. And I, and I hope they leave here a better person uh, for that. And I hope they leave here. Obviously, enjoying the time that they were here, and I'm, and you know, we're not done. That's what I keep telling them. We're yeah. still playing, so let's keep going as long as we can. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll let you get out of here. Enjoy the win. Congrats on the wins, and um, you guys travel to Bethany tomorrow, and then York and friends, and that's it. Then it's conference tournament time. So, um, but I'll let you, I'll let you get out of here and and enjoy the win, Coach. All right. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, I want to say one thing if I can. You guys do a great job. We are the envy of the league of what we do here. Every coach, I say that, and I, I can't thank you guys enough for taking the time, especially on a doubleheader today, what, six or seven hours. That's a long day for you guys. Uh, what we do back in the studio is, is first class, and I want to say thank you. It makes our program better. It, it, it helps us recruiting. It helps us in so many different ways, and I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody that puts the time and effort to do it. It's, it's not a problem at all. We enjoy it, and, and I enjoy watching you guys play and enjoy broadcasting and getting to know your players around campus too. So it's, it's our pleasure as much well, as it is yours. I appreciate it. Yep, thank you. That's head coach Mark Staniford after a two-game sweep over the number 23 team in the country. As always, this is the voice of Tabor College Athletics, Rain Isaac, signing off.
Marzicek is exceptional at is uh, vertical defending. He kicks that one off and fit. 